Well, this is a surprise. I did not expect to be making this video so soon. Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. Did you think I'd be taking up a fifth six star to rank four already? I didn't. But do you think you can guess who it is? I'll talk more about the choice and how I was able to take up a champion so soon to rank four before the Eternity of Pain uh, rewards dropped. But leave a comment below. Let me know if you think you can guess who's going up. I'm very excited about this one. But we're about to reveal it in five, four, three, two, one. My man, Nick Fury. That's right, Nick Fury. If you watch my videos for war, you know that Nick Fury is a love of mine. Claire is a love of mine. Warlock is a love of mine. And Claire's already up. I don't know yet if I'm going to take Warlock up, but I got to take Nick up. I got to. All right. So here we go. And Nick Fury is my latest rank four six star. Just like that. Whoo, yes. All right. So I was uh, looking over my champions, right? And look at this. It's like they knew. Um, I was looking over my champions, and I'm like, man, I'm really close. And I was telling people in my live stream that I had to wait till, you know, once I got the Eternity of Pain rewards, then I was going to be able to take up my next champion. I was so close. And then I looked to see how close I actually was. And I just needed one tier three alpha that was it well you know we we're gonna get a bunch of those um i think two of those for the eternity of pain so i'm like all right you know we'll get it then i was looking over my um objectives and loyalty spend was on and i was like hmm, i wonder if there's anything uh that i want to get in the loyalty store i forgot i was paragon now and you can get, for 1 million loyalty, a T3 Alpha. Now, that is quite expensive. But I had it. And I'm almost to another million. By the time the uh, six-star Awakening Gem gets reset, because I bought it already, but the next one, by the time it gets reset, I'll be able to get it again. So I was like, hey, let's do it. You know, and so I got it. And then I was like, OK, who am I going to take up? You know, you guys know I just recently got Omega Sentinel. I could have took her up and maxed her out. That would have been, you know, nice prestige bump and everything. And she seems to be a great champion as well. But <sighs> she's not Nick Fury. I'm sorry. Nick Fury is my boy. All right. He is my boy. All right. Come on, claim all that. Yeah. There we go. So Nick is up. Now, he's not high prestige by any means. I think he was like 99 uh, on the prestige charts, but that's fine. That's not why I take him up. Um, now, he has not touched my prestige yet, but we're going to fix that. Uh, let's take a look here. So Nick Fury, he is at level one. Reason is, that's really all he needs. And so I used an awakening gem on him. No regrets whatsoever. Now, if you look, the reason you might want to take him higher up, especially if he's on defense, is that that degen, when he gets to his uh, second life, it will degen slower the higher his sig level is. So like right now, 
I degen quick. Okay. And that's not a bad thing. I use him just fine. But if I'm going to take him up to rank four, I think I want him to be maxed out. Now, check this out. Look at this. I've got 102 skill Sage Stones. Now, I toyed around with the idea of maybe taking up Valkyrie if I ever get her. Um, but I was like, you know what? I probably would not take her up over some other skill options that I have. So we're going to use these on Nick. And I was also going to wait for a skill advancement. I've outgrown the advancement. Um, the rewards are, are not really that good for me at this level. All right. So let's take a look real quick here. So you can see here, taking direct damage, you see it's changing, okay? Um, so he will degen slower when he's in that um, second life. Let me uh, get over here and grab those other, there we go. And we'll use those. Last two. And let's see what my prestige looks like. Hey, we've gone up a little bit. 14, 860, not bad. Like I said, he's not the best uh, uh, prestige, but that's fine. Because I don't really want him for the prestige, but if I have him at rank four, let's do it, you know? Now, take a look at my six stones. My generics. I have 259 of them. Not to mention those plus fives up there, 55. Uh, so let's take them all the way up. Confirm. There we go. And let's see what uh, that did to my prestige. And I'm over 15K, finally. You know, not, not a whole lot of, uh, over, but still. You know, so hmm. let's let's head into Realm of Legends. OK, so all we're going in here with is Nick and I'm going to do this fight twice. OK, let me uh, turn the sound down a little bit. I'm going to do this fight twice. Uh, I'm running suicides and deep wounds. All right. So this fight is with Nick. And we are not going to go into a second life. Okay, so we just want to see what what it looks like. All right. And you can see the damage that he's doing. This is his... Uh, whoops. This is his uh, first life. There we go. Look at this. Look at the damage. That is just crazy. And we're still on his first life. So this is not even his uh, most impressive. Let's just fire off some of these. Look at those crits, man. I love Nick Fury. I absolutely love Nick Fury. This is fun. We're going to have a lot of fun with Nick. I love the fact that he has that second life, so it's a little bit, you know, a little safety net. In case you mess up. All right, one crit on that one. There we go. Not bad, not bad. So now we're gonna do that fight again. And this time I'm going to let him die and get the real Nick Fury out. That way you can see the, um, the benefit of the SIG, first of all, and you'll see a difference in the damage. 
Okay, so just let him go ahead and do all this. Doesn't matter. Look look how, how tanky he is, though. He's, he's surviving a little bit. Look at this. Stunning him and all that. Won't matter. Look at him. Unblockable, but we ain't worried about that just yet. Come on. Come on. Come on. Do it, do it, do it. All right, here we go. All right, now watch his health bar. Very slow. Well, of course I get hit, but that's okay, because I got hit in the last one too. But you can compare the damage now. Let's uh, get this up. Get that uh, open wound on him. There we go. Let's look at his damage now. Just look at that. Insane. Crazy. His damage when he is in that second life is crazy. Okay? So, his damage without going into that mode, you know, uh, when he's still on the life model decoy, is still good. Then, you have the safety net, and then when the real Nick Fury comes out, you do even more damage, you're stun immune. I, I, I love him. I love him. Anyway, that's going to do it, guys. Thank you all for watching the video. Feel free to hit that like button if you enjoyed it. Leave a comment. Let me know what you think about Nick Fury. Take care, and you all have a blessed day. Thank you.